I am Alaric Corinium, doom-laden scion of a dying house, whose aeon's long line of mad, cruel emperors will die with myself. As I ride along a grey, drizzling beach on who knows what world, the ghosts of my ancestors swarm around me like great, gibbering bats trailing tenuous winding sheets. But I'm used to this and ignore them. At my side throbs Doombringer, my black chaos rune sword, fated to steal the lives of those I love most in order to sustain my feeble, anemic body. As I consider my tragic lot, I see myself as a pawn moved by mad gods, and with the rain on my face as I ride, plastering my long white hair to my cheeks, I laugh at the terrible joke of it all. Ha 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 ha! My black horse ambling slowly forwards through the downpour. As dusk falls, the only light is my crimson eyes gleaming and the emerald embedded in my skull that blazes forth, lighting our way. A quarter of a mile behind me, well out of the range of Doombringer's bite, rides Toadstool, the dumpy, wisecracking and recently rather anxious barbarian who has been my companion for some time. He doesn't like the way my sword hums to itself in crooning anticipation when he is near. Sitting behind him on his grey is the flaxen-haired Princess Salwaz, hopelessly in love with me this last week, and definitely beating the odds by surviving Doombringer's kiss this long. Crumbled fallen cliffs stretch out into the night-hidden waters, blocking our path, and we seek our shelter some distance apart for the night. I reach into my travel pouch for herbs to brew in the cliff shelter, ensuring my unnatural strength for another night and day, also knowing that the small, guttering fire under my herb kettle will draw Zalwaz to me for another night huddled under my black cloak. I laughed bitterly to myself again. Ah ha ha! And the sound was caught up and lost in the wild shriek of the wind and the slowly dragging roar of unseen pebbles caught helplessly in the surf. As my herbs began to boil, I crumbled in as Sir Rock sat. The antidepressants were prescribed for me by a clinical psychiatrist I encountered, who was chained in my father's dungeons. I gave him my gratitude, but was, unfortunately, unable to preserve him from serving as a note in my father's pain organ, whose workings I leave to your own imagination. Whatever world I had arrived on, it probably wasn't ready for me. I only knew that my passing would bring a wave of pain and destruction, a ripple of betrayal. But tonight, I had the night, my own company, and yes, yes, there she was, picking her way through the rocks. I placed Doombringer some way away, where it muttered to itself, and put the eagles on my portable CD player, another gift from the ill-fated psychiatrist. I would try to forget my doom for a few brief hours. The morning light, in its own time, would reveal more. <laughs>